started actually starts before Blackhawk. Came together uh, because I sold both of these guys an airplane uh, when I was with another company. And I always had the idea of doing some sort of uh, engine modification upgrade business because I'd worked at Ram Aircraft for years and I watched how they did things, so I thought it would be a good idea. But over the years, uh, we got an opportunity <coughs> to purchase uh, an STC to upgrade a Conquest One, and we decided that that might be a good path to go down, so uh, we went down that path and formed a new company. By then, Dale was our partner as well. Dale went out and we found a Conquest One, and he purchased it, and that became our test bed, and that was the beginning. sold uh, the Aurora companies to just focus full time on Blackhawk and, and that, that was a turning point uh, in the Blackhawk history because at that point, you know, with, with a focus 100% on uh, sales for Blackhawk, the, the climb was, uh, was, was rather steep and it, it, it started really growing. We moved actually downtown here, a few blocks from here, uh, for six months that turned into two years. And then eventually we built a hangar out at Waco Regional Airport and that became our home base that we have today. One of the things that we ha had to get that we didn't have was an agreement with Pratt & Whitney to actually buy engines. Yes. So we had the STC to put uh, engines on the airplanes but we really didn't have an agreement with Pratt & Whitney and they didn't know who we were uh, for obvious reasons. We were just starting out. And that process took almost three years and so just like any other startup company you know you have your uh, vision what you want to do, but it takes time. And there's usually some key relationships along the way or a, a breaking point, a milestone that gets you over the hurdle that gets you into the market. And that's, that's really what happened in, I think, 2002. And Pratt Whitney finally engaged with us and gave us our first contract. The, the, uh, the problem was that there was nobody doing what we proposed to do. There wasn't an engine upgrade market per se, but there was no major players, so to speak. We collaborated with Pratt & Whitney to think different ways and different things we could be doing along the way. We added STCs to different airframes, uh, King Airs, uh, Cheyennes, Conquests, and then the, the bigger King Airs. Once we got the STC, we had people buying brand new C90Bs out of Wichita and flying them down to Waco for our engine upgrade. And after that happened two or three times, the OEM contacted us and said, we got to talk. And so we shared with them our data. And that actually started a very collaborative uh, relationship. And uh, I, I just think that the market said, well, if Beechcraft is OK with what these guys are doing, and actually Blackhawk has always been one step ahead of the OEM. We came out with a 135A engine upgrade prior to the OEM. We came up with a Dash 61 engine upgrade prior to the Dash 52 going on the factory line. We earned some respect, uh, didn't really have to talk a lot because the, the market and, and the data spoke for itself. That was another kind of a turning point when you start seeing that kind of feedback in the industry from our products, that we are, they are doing what we say they will do. So. There are really two main differentiators at Blackhawk that, that have helped us succeed over the years. The first one is the products. Uh, one of my favorite calls that I make to a customer is a couple months after they've been flying, I'll ask them, what do you think? And the consensus is, everyone says, I wish I would have done this earlier. So you know the products work, they deliver uh, even more than what we advertise at times. The other differentiator at Blackhawk are the people. Uh, we work with a group of seasoned professionals who know how to shine the spotlight of what our products do and how they'll specifically help individuals who operate these airplanes. I say the people are the product and we have a great group of people and we're having our company meeting, our annual company meeting right now. And you look around the room and it's, and it's people that for the most part, we've got a couple of new additions in the last year or two, but for the most part there's people that have been here for a while and we don't lose too many employees. From our sales manager on down to the, our parts room guy, they're just—they're all unique in their own way, and they're all 
very, very good. And, and, you know, we said earlier today at our company meeting that it's not about one person, one idea. It's about a team. No department inside Blackhawk is an island. We all re rely on each other for support and help. And that's one of Blackhawk's greatest assets, the ability for us to work together outside of our group and get the support and help that we need. So the reason I think the future is very, very bright is it's just not about what we're doing here in Waco. Uh, we have a composite manufacturing company that we've owned for seven years. Uh, we also have a government uh, programs group based out of Huntsville. It's really leveraging the people in Waco, in Kentucky at our composite manufacturing facility and down in Huntsville. And how could we add more value to a customer relationship? We're, we're helping to make our pilots that are operating in some of the harshest environments in the world maybe get out of there alive, or at least safer. Um, so it's a, it's a market that we, is, is relatively new to us, uh, and it's big, and it's exciting. So I think that we'll, we'll do a lot more with that, and uh, there's just a lot of opportunities out there that we literally are just beginning to, to tap into. To me, the future of Blackhawk's very good because of our industry and that, the way that our industry is leaning towards the idea of why buy new aircraft when you can refurbish an older aircraft as good as or better than new. You save a lot of money doing that and in the case of a Blackhawk new engine or new propeller upgrade, you get an aircraft that actually performs better than the standard aircraft. I, I just think there's so much out there that we've just really scratched the surface. Uh, there's still a lot of our legacy airplanes, the market for them, that it's out there. There's still thousands of airplanes that we haven't touched yet. And we're not going to do them all, but we're going to do a lot of them. Be it jets, be it single engine turboprops, be it some other turboprop that we didn't know about yet, we can get it done and we can sell it. And I think that's, that's part of the whole success story right there. Here we are today, 20 years later, and we're ahead of the pack. We can bring new products to market faster than anybody, and we can provide pilots what they're looking for. Performance at a price that's lower than the competition. That is a winning combination. I, I think it's really remarkable what Blackhawk has been able to accomplish in this past 20 years. Uh, there wasn't a market when we began, and now there is, and, and you're starting to see a lot of other people duplicate and replicate what we're doing, you'll see the factory will adapt some of the programs that we've put on these airplanes. And you're going to see a lot more of that in the future for Blackhawk as well, where we've, we've become the driving factor for aircraft change and improvements, and, and I think you're going to continue to see more of that coming from Blackhawk.